Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club, and this is my first layout using the new 2018 August kits. And all of the design team layouts this week are going to be inspired by our monthly mood board. And Audrey Yeager designed this one. And right away, I was inspired by all the colors. And so I went through the papers in the main kit, and this paper jumped out at me. It's from the Willow Lane collection. And then the chipboard stickers that are also from the Willow Lane collection. I believe this is in the embellishment kit. But I noticed that big always right in the middle and I just had to use it. And so I went ahead and just pulled it right up. I didn't know what I was going to do with it yet, but I knew I wanted to use it. And so if I, if I leave things where they are, I tend to forget about them. So I pulled it off and stuck it right there so I would see it. So what I did was I pre-cut that striped Willow Lane paper and did a little bit of die cutting here on my Cameo. Now this is an exclusive alphabet cut file that we get this month. If it's not loaded in the, um, the cut file section of the website, it will be very soon. Uh, design team member Yana McCarthy designed it and I absolutely love this font. I think it's great and it comes in uppercase and lowercase letters and so you could basically make your own title you can make your own words whatever you want and that's what I did with adventure here and this is going to sort of be the start of my design and here are my silly adorable cute pictures of Paige with her eyes crossed and she's winking at me and she's wrinkling up her nose and just looking cute doing what she does and I'm going to sort of put the pictures underneath the big title and that's going to take up a lot of space on this layout and so it's going to kind of help this come together qu kind of quickly for me anyway because I'm pretty slow. Uh, this is just clear gesso. I'm just coating my white cardstock with it because I'm going to be adding a lot of shimmers to it and we got three new shimmers in the color kit this month and I'm going to use all three of those. I also pulled a couple of colors from my stash that are also shimmers that we got in previous color kits months ago. Uh, I'm going to do the tried and true packaging technique here to begin with and I'm just uh, going to use all three colors because all three colors are pretty much in the paper that I'm that I've already cut up there. Uh, if you've seen all this Willow Lane goodness, it's just gorgeous and stunning and there is a ton of it in the kits this month and these three colors complement it really well. And so I'm just kind of creating a watercolor splotchy background here to put my title back on top of it. You're going to be able to see all this color underneath it and around it. And I think it turns out really pretty. So the aqua color there is a spray. It's a colorings. It's called Well Blew Me Down. And it's just a flat color, no shimmer. The two that are in the little pots there, you have to add water to. One of them is a blue. It's kind of a navy bluish, really pretty color, and it's called Oaky Bear Blue. And then this one that I'm using now is gold, and it is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite golds from Shimmers, and it's called Minor Minor 49er, and it's an in Inklings. And it's so pretty. It's so shimmery. And I'm going to hold the paper up here once everything's dry in a minute, and you'll be able to see all the shimmer. So you can kind of see there that this title and my pictures sort of take up a lot of space. And so that's going to kind of dictate where everything goes. And then it's going to kind of show me what room I have left for other embellishments. And I like starting with big titles sometimes. I, I, I've done this quite a lot in the past and I think it's fun for just getting your layout started and helping you uh, sort of decide where your pictures are going to go and it just kind of puts the puzzle pieces together for you, I guess you could say. So you know me and my backgrounds here, I take quite a bit of time to do this sometimes and this was one of the cases where I just kept adding and kept adding and then I would bring the letters and the pictures back on top of the mixed media and see what it looks like. But I didn't want to just stop at those three colors because I do have some coral and some pink mixed in those papers or in those letters. And the coral color is uh, Creamies, I believe, and it's called Grapefruit, and we got that several months ago. And then I'm going to use a pink spray that is a Vibes, and it's called Sweetheart, and that also came in a color kit. And it does have some shimmer. And it's fun to kind of mix and match all the different colors, even though some have shimmer, some don't. It's just always 
pretty to kind of mix and match. So you can kind of see here the look I'm going for. I did want some of that color to kind of peek out from underneath the pictures like that. So I just kind of play around with it and uh, I use, like I said, I use the packaging, I use my brush, I am just using some splattering techniques here, just dipping it into the pot and splattering it around. And here is what I'm going to show you. You can see how parts of it is shimmery, that gold, so, so pretty. And you can make these colors even darker by adding layer upon layer upon layer, and it's just going to get even more shimmery as you do that. So I'm going to see what I've got now thus far and see how it looks. I'm going to piece all of these letters back together to spell adventure. And I got adventure, um, this, this title popped into my head because if the, remember the mood board, there was a picture of a quote that said something about an adventure. And this isn't the exact quote, but I just took the word adventure from it and I'm going to kind of make my own title and I'm going to add more words to this. It's not just going to be always adventure. I'm going to add a couple more things to it. So once I put the letters back on top of it, I felt like the some of the letters were blending in because certain colors of the paper were the same color as the background and I kind of wanted that to contrast and stand out and so I just added a little bit of white gesso there and I'm going to change this little section right here in the middle to be more of pink and so the T and the N pop off the page a little bit more. I just don't want any of the, the uh, letters to get lost or blend in too much with the background colors. And so that's what I'm doing. And I like the way that the Y and always sort of tucks into the V. So off camera, I glued those down and just did a straight stitch through the letters with some gold thread. And so adventure is not moving. It is stuck there. And so everything else has to be worked around it. And I like doing that because it kind of limits you. And now I don't have anywhere else to put my pictures except underneath the word. I could put them beside always, but I felt like that would be way too much stuff in the top half of the layout. And so bringing them down underneath kind of balances everything out. And sometimes when I print my pictures like this, when I print three on one four by six sheet of paper, I'll cut them up, but I just decided to leave them in one strip here. Uh, now here's where I'm going to add in more words. These little mini alpha stickers are also from the Willow Lane collection, and I believe they're in the Project Life kit. And so I'm going to add Anne. So right now it says always an adventure. And I thought about using that cute little bird, but I just could not find the right spot for it. So it goes back. And then I play around with some of the Willow Lane embellishments. I'm going to pull a butterfly. I'm going to pull that big pink flower. And I also pulled out some um, puffy hearts. And those are from Amy Tangerine. I continued to add to the title, and I'm going to add you are. So it's going to be, you are always an adventure. And I swapped out the pink butterfly for a blue one. And the blue one came from the chipboard sheet. I love this sticker sheet also from Willow Lane. It's black clear stickers. And I love the different fonts. I added a little sticker up there that says, Hey Sunshine. And I thought that was appropriate because Paige, one of her nicknames is Sunshine, given to her by one of her awesome teachers. And so anytime I see the word sunshine, it's always appropriate for her. Thread, of course, I pulled out some thread. I've got some coral that's going to match that coral color. And I thought that would look pretty underneath the blue butterfly, just to give it a little bit of contrast. And then I'm going to glue that down. And it didn't want to stick flat, so I'm going to stick my water mug on top of it. And now I'm going to continue to work with the bottom area. I'm going to add in a little bit of layering behind the pictures. And I'm going to use some of the coordinating Project Life cards. And those are exclusive, as always. And they match perfectly. Look at those colors. I mean, they were made to go with this Willow Lane collection. Kim Watson and Kimberly Hutchinson do a fantastic job. Let me close out Facebook. Why is it beeping at me? They do a fantastic job of making exclusive pieces that coordinate with whatever it is we're getting in the kits. And I mean, it makes it so easy and so quick because everything matches. I mean, everything matches. 
and I had to use that striped one because it pulls all the colors from that word adventure down to the bottom. And let me rave again about this stamp set. This is also from Willow Lane. And these stamps, I had never even used them. I peeled them right off. I did a little practice stamp here and look how perfect this is. It's so perfect and detailed. I was so excited to use this. I wanted to add just a little bit of a detail as a layer right here underneath that flower die cut. And I just stamp it right onto the paper hoping I didn't screw it up. And I kind of wanted it to peek out, kind of just like that. So I knew the whole thing wasn't going to show. I'm also going to add a couple of leaves. The leaves are gorgeous. They stamp so beautiful. And let me tell you, the detail on them is just stunning. I want to use this stamp set again and again because it just, it stamps so great. I did a little bit of stitching along the bottom there. Just another straight metallic gold stitch just to kind of echo the stitching through the word or the title and then I'm going to slowly start to glue things down. I did add some glue behind those little mini alphas because nothing ever wants to stick to gesso and so they were wanting to kind of curl up off of it. Here's another piece I wanted to use. This is from another Project Life card. It's a cute little circle that says Stuff of Life and I just thought it was cute. I liked the white and the pop of blue but I couldn't decide where to put it. Check out these puffy stickers. These are also from Willow Lane. They are the cutest things I think I've ever seen. Look at the little animal heads. There's hearts. There's, what else is on there? Little houses, I believe. Little flowers, stars. Oh, so, so cute. This was a case of me, everything that I looked at matched. Every little piece I wanted to use. And I had to just pull the reins back and say, okay, calm down, settle down, simmer down because you're going to have more layouts to make. You cannot put everything down on one layout. But you know, you know that feeling where everything, you can't decide because everything looks great. Everything's so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to make my next layout with these kits. You guys are going to flip out when you get them if you haven't already gotten it. They're so, so pretty. I did add some blue thread there underneath the bottom just to add another pop of that blue color to kind of pull down from the butterfly up at the top and the U and the A. Just kind of bring that blue color down to that area. And I'm adding just a couple of those little puffy hearts. The big uh, light aqua blue one is from Amy Tangerine. And that's her new collection called Shine On. And here I go adding more gold because gold, no other explanation needed. I added a couple more stickers from Willow Lane. Added another little butterfly up at the top. Uh, when I added that pink flower die cut, I cut the top of it off because you weren't going to be able to see it. And so now I have another piece of a little flower to add over to the left. So if you're going to cover up the bulk of something that you're using as a layer, cut off the end or cut, cut off the part that you're not going to see because then you can tuck it under somewhere else and it looks like a whole piece when it's really just a little snippet. I decided to add a little something something up at the top. And I'm going to go back to this one sheet of paper that I've used so far and just kind of cut a little dip out of the, the white cardstock and ruffle it up with my edge distressor and add a little bit of, of, of a layer of a paper behind it. Just a little bit of something so it's not completely naked. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom except I'm going to do this aqua light blue floral strip. And then I wanted something else on top of those. I, I tend to create little clusters when I do that, but I didn't want to get too big because I felt like the layout is, is pretty much almost finished. I just wanted tiny little details. And so I went back to this black clear sticker sheet and there's a little row of little, like a line of dots. Just cut it in half and stuck half at the top, half at the bottom. And then these other Willow Lane stickers, there are so much Willow Lane stuff, you guys. It's just, all of it's so pretty. I added a little flower up at the top and a little flower down at the bottom. And that's all I'm gonna do there. Oh wait, no, that's not true. I'm gonna add another little word sticker from this black clear sticker sheet. I think that one says smiles. And then the one at the bottom I'm gonna add says uh, a door. 
And then the last, one of the last things I'm going to do is come in and add some journaling. And I usually kind of do my journaling underneath my photo, but I wanted to do it some more different. So I just drew a couple of lines over here above the left corner and added in a few words. And then I'm going to add in some black splatters. And that's the shimmers from my stash. And it's called Night Moves. And it's just a simple black. But anyway, there's the final layout. I love how this turned out. Those pictures crack me up. But uh, this was fun to do. And I hope you check out uh, this cut file. Audrey also has a couple of exclusive cut files coming up. And I don't know if they're going to be more. But they're all awesome this month. Um, these kits, it's just oh, everything that you guys are going to make is going to be beautiful. Because everything is so pretty. I know I've said that a million times. But I can't help it. I love the colors in this collection. So awesome. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer. I hope this gives you some fun ideas to try. So uh, I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching.